Hello everyone, welcome to Rocket ETV and the news as it is. On February the 7th, 25-year-old model Amy Lefebvre was in New York to walk the runway at a fashion show at Pier 59 Studios. According to the Daily Mail, the event was held by the Fashion Institute of Technology in honor of 10 of the alumni from the school's inaugural Master of Fine Arts class in fashion design. For the designs from a recent FIT graduate, John K. Huang, each model was provided with oversized monkey's lips and ears to wear with the clothes down the runway. The New York Post reported that Huang's design was to highlight the ugly features of the body. Amy said she told the organizers at different times that she was uncomfortable and would not be wearing the derogatory accessories as with her being a black woman and the negative comparisons that are made about black people with monkeys, it was racist. As you can see on the screen, Amy did a styling shot a few days before the fashion show, but the night of the fashion show, she refused to wear it. Amy said she was told it was okay to be uncomfortable for 45 seconds. She said, I stood there almost ready to break down, telling the staff that I felt incredibly uncomfortable with having to wear these pieces and that they were clearly racist. She said they told her it was fine to feel uncomfortable for 45 seconds. Even though other models wore the lips and ears, Amy did not. She walked the runway in just the designer's clothing and immediately left to the event after it ended. The Daily Mail said that it's possible that Huang was unaware of the racial connotations that his work might provoke in others. But I call bullshit. If he were unaware, then the basis for the lips and ears getup wouldn't be to highlight the ugly features of the body. But for a fashion designer, I find it surprising that he was unaware of the issues in the recent past with Gucci's turtleneck-looking sweater that looked like blackface, and this was in 2019. And in 2018 when H&M had the black male child model wear a sweater for their ads, which said on the front, coolest monkey in the jungle. Some of the models that wore the getup confirmed Amy's story and said the day before they told Richard Thorne, the show's producer, and Jonathan Kyle Farmer, the show's director, and a professor at FIT, that the costume was problematic. But they chose to do nothing about it. I find it interesting that they agreed with Amy, however, chose not to stand with her in solidarity and not walk the runway in the cartoonish and overly exaggerated getup. The president at Fashion Institute of Technology, Dr. Joyce T. Brown, told the New York Post that the program protects a student's freedom to craft their own and unique artistic perspectives as designers, to be even what some would consider to be provocative so that they can find their voice. However provocative design and fashion might be, though, my commitment to ensure that people are not made to feel uncomfortable, offended, or intimidated is also of the utmost importance, not only to me personally, but to the college community as well. We take this obligation very, very seriously and will investigate and take appropriate action regarding any complaint or concern that is made in this situation. Let's hope that Amy doesn't face any backlash and lose out on any future jobs because she stood up for herself and her race.